What's going on, Swim fans? Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you five ways that you can achieve the swimmer's body. You heard that right. We're gonna be talking about why swimmers are so cut, how the swimmer physique has really evolved over the last few decades. We've seen swimmers like Michael Phelps and other top athletes look absolutely shredded. We're gonna talk about how you can do that, but doing so in a healthy way while also maintaining your performance and also living a healthy lifestyle. Now, if you guys are new here, welcome to my Swim Pro. My name is Ferris Betty, and I'm gonna share with you the latest and greatest to help take your swimming to the next level. So if you're looking to swim faster and smarter than ever before, you've come to the right place. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, and let's go ahead and get right into it. We're gonna be talking about why swimmers are so cut. I got four reasons for you guys. The first one is that swimming burns a ton of calories. I mean, think about it. You finish that swim workout and you're so hungry, right? We're gonna talk about nutrition in just a second, but it you burn so many calories when you're moving through this medium of water that is so dense and as you swim you're not only burning a lot of calories but you're using a lot of different muscle groups and that's one of the reasons why you actually burn so many calories and so creating this physique doesn't just happen overnight and on its own it's because you're really engaging your entire body your core your upper body your lower body and when you swim through the water you're really using every single muscle group from your toes all the way through your fingers to maintain that posture on top of the water also swimmers just train more hours I know when I was in college, when I was in high school, we would train in the morning, then we'd train in the afternoon. Heck, you're gonna train at night, so you're doing doubles or even triples. You're doing 20 to 30 hours of training per week at the top level, and even if you're not gonna train like that and you're only training three times per week, the more consistently you can do it, the more the results will come, and by doing so and just putting in that time, that's how you see some of these top athletes with these crazy, crazy physiques. They look super, super lean, but they're also super, super healthy, and finally, it all comes together with the fact that water is 800 times more resistive than air. Yes, I've said it many times here on the channel, but we know that water is just so thick. It's something that's very difficult to move through. It's not as simple as just going for a walk. Going for a swim puts a lot of stress on the body from a resistance perspective. It's low impact, and because of that, you're burning a lot of calories, you're using a lot of muscle groups, and that those are the main reasons that contribute to swimmers looking a certain way. It's total body, you're using upper body, lower body, core, and all that stuff. So how can you achieve the swimmer's body? And not that it's that important to look a certain way, but if you're really trying to improve your performance and health, you're gonna end up attributing some of the factors on your body to that swimmer's physique. Now here's one of the first things, it's high intensity workouts. So if you're looking to figure out how, how do I train, I want a swimmer, not that you wanna look a certain way, but you wanna, you wanna feel a certain way. And that's one of the great benefits of swimming, it makes you feel so good. So for that reason alone, doing high intensity workouts, basically training in different energy zones will allow you to really move between slow twitch and fast twitch muscles and training in high volume and higher intensity different ranges will allow you to get that muscle engagement that's going to burn more calories and also contribute to swimming faster now if you're not really sure where to start you're more beginner or even an intermediate or advanced swimmer and you're looking for training or workouts highly recommend the my swim pro app it's available for ios and android you can get a personalized training program specific to your goals, workout by workout, set by set, sync with the Apple Watch or a Garmin Watch. It's a great way to stay accountable and stay on track. And we really have a ton of high intensity workouts, whether you're looking for something like USRPT or building your endurance or building your speed or any of the techniques, whether it's an IM individual medley or anything like that, we've got it all available in the MySoon Pro app. So make sure you check it out for a personalized training plan. Now I mentioned it before, nutrition, this is super important. You know, it's what you put into your body. If you think about your body as a race car, right? You wouldn't put just ordinary fuel in a race car. No, you put racing fuel. You gotta put the right stuff in your body. The expression, you are what you eat, really matters. Make sure you're hydrated before, during, and after the workout. Because remember, you are a high performance machine. And when it comes to high performance, you've gotta put the right stuff in your body. And that brings up today's sponsor of the video, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is the ultimate daily all-in-one supplement that supports performance, recovery, and so much more. It's packed with 75 vitamins and minerals, yeah, 75, plus whole food source ingredients that help with immune support, gut health, energy, and recovery. And on top of all of that, each serving includes pre and probiotics, adaptogens, a superfood complex, and more. One serving of Athletic Greens is the antioxidant equivalent of 12 servings of fruits and vegetables. That's a lot of fruit and vegetables. 
I have personally been drinking Athletic Greens for a few weeks, and I've definitely noticed a boost in energy and a better mental clarity. It helps fill the gaps in my diet and gives me peace of mind because now I know I'm getting my comprehensive nutrition plan, even with my very busy schedule. Now, I also feel like I recover more quickly and I have more energy for my next workout, which is huge. Just mix it with water and you're on your way. It's a really easy habit to add to your routine and it tastes pretty good too. If you wanna try it yourself, make sure you click down below in the description for the Athletic Greens Immunity Bundle. And that comes with a one year supply of vitamin D plus five individual travel packs for free with your purchase. Athletic Greens is available in the US, Canada, the UK, and Europe. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Make sure you stay nourished, stay healthy, and let's get back to the video. We know that nutrition is very important and it really works together with everything that we're talking about from a holistic perspective. We also gotta talk about endurance training, right? I have this as number three on the list. This is huge. When you think about different forms of activity, whether it's weightlifting, running, yoga or swimming, swimming really is the king or queen of the court when it comes to endurance because you can train in different heart rate zones and it's something because it's low impact, you can sustain over a long period of time on a consistent basis. Consistency is key. If you're looking for any type of results, both in training and in life, you have to do it every single day. And the more consistently you can do something, the better you're gonna get at it and the more results you're gonna see and the faster the results you're gonna see come. Because when you train in different heart rate zones, you're basically gonna get the maximum calorie burn over an extended period of time. And that's really what makes this endurance training so powerful and why swimmers and other endurance athletes look a certain way. It also makes you feel really good because you have so much energy. So you're not as tired when you go up the stairs. You can go for a bike ride. You can go for a long walk and you're not gonna be out of breath compared to maybe some other people who don't have the equivalent endurance training. So very, very important. And of course, if you're looking for a training plan that focuses on endurance, both in and out of the water, make sure you check out the MySwim Pro app. The fourth thing here is flexibility. You might not be thinking about flexibility when it comes to having a certain performance or even physique, but it matters a lot because when you're talking about flexibility, what we're really talking about is mobility and range of motion. Because when you have great mobility and range of motion through things like stretching, you're basically getting this elasticity of the human body. But what does that actually mean? Basically, it will help support recovery and also get more muscle engagement. So when, you're, when your muscles are stretched out and you're not tight, you're able to actually recover more quickly. So that way, when you do the next workout, you're able to use that muscle a little bit more. And and because if you're so tight, you actually don't get the full range of that muscle. And so by having great flexibility, doing dynamic stretching before a workout, static stretching after a workout, you're actually able to improve your overall elasticity of your human body, which gets, which gets you more muscle activation, more muscle engagement. You're gonna burn more calories, get a better workout, better performance. And that's why some of the best athletes in the world look a certain way. It also makes you feel amazing. And the fifth thing we gotta talk about is strength training, right? In swimming, we call this dry land training. Anything that you're doing out of the water that contributes to in the water performance, we call that dry land training. And of course, this is gonna get you your muscle engagement. We've talked about this a lot. It's really, really important. That's what we call muscle activation. So things that you can train, really push your muscles out of the water that's really difficult to do in the water, you can focus on that in dry land training. Of course, it'll improve your performance and also help prevent against injury, which is really important because if you end up hurting yourself and you have some kind of an injury on your shoulder or lower back or knees or something like that, then you're gonna be out of the game. You're not gonna be able to train, you're not gonna be able to swim, and that'll reduce your performance gains or potential just because you can't train the activity. So it's really important to not hurt yourself Keep yourself out of the injury zone so you can spend more time doing what you love, and that's in the pool swimming. And of course, if you want dry land training, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app. We've got dry land training, swim training. We have workouts that you can do with equipment, without equipment. You can do the workouts in the app alongside myself in the videos, and I can't wait to do those workouts with you. And of course, if you haven't already checked out my book, Swim Like a Pro, I have a dedicated chapter on most of the stuff that we talked about. It really goes into detail if you're looking for something like that. And if you're not in the My Swim Pro Facebook, 
Facebook group. We have over 10,000 swimmers from over 100 different countries trying to take their swimming to the next level. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, open water swimmer, triathlete, former Olympian, we have people from all of those different backgrounds. Make sure you join that group. It's completely free to be in there, VIP Facebook group, and really connect with a community that keeps you accountable. Make sure you check out the Athletic Greens links down below to make sure you're nearest, train, hydrate before, during, and after your workout. I wish you guys the very best and happy swimming.